Hi, y'all. <laughs> Liz, I thought was for you. <laughs> I did not know she was going to do that. Um, uh, I, I said it because this book starts, <laughs> starts off in Texas. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're here for the four wins. I don't know what to say. That was funny. <laughs> By Kristen Hanna. Um, <laughs> bravo, Kristen Hanna. I really liked this. I've actually heard we should continue on with some Kristen Hanna books, which we have not yet. My mother owns probably all of them, so we have This is them. our mother's book. Yes, it is. And, and she's been telling us for a while to read it, and we're like, yeah, mom, yeah, I mean, whatever. I've had other people, like... I know, but when she tells us to age. read it, we're like... Mom, I know. no, we're not going to read your book. like, oh, you should really read this. I oh, Great story. It was a great, great story. Another really like, refresher because uh, what we normally read, which we still, it's our preference. Just another thing that was just an easy get out of our fantasy land and go into... Real world. Yeah, <laughs> I it mean, real world. Fiction, you know. It's in real world. But this, a lot of this stuff happened. First of all, I think this cover is really pretty. I do. Did you like the cover? Yeah. What is the hard? Look, I mean, look how pretty. There's like gold in there. I just love it. So we're starting in the 1920s, 1921, and we meet a young Elsa, Elsa who is just wealthy, comes from a very wealthy family. But she's treated very badly. Yes. She, and she... Like she said she's ugly. They say she's in ugly. Her, mind, her father and mother. Her mind, she's not beautiful. She might be smart, but she's not beautiful. Her parents have never treated her as one of her great beauties. I think, is she like 25? I can't remember. I think she was like 25 or something. Her parents yes. thought like she's not married. So like her life's yeah. over. They were, thing. they were very uh, cruel to her and they didn't think she was pretty enough to marry anybody. Not like her sisters. No. Who married. And so they kind of kept her, they didn't keep her hidden, but they kind of did. They didn't let her do anything. But they weren't nice to her. And, yeah. But, you know, she comes from a very wealthy family in Texas. And, you know, one day she meets a young boy named Rafe. And who... It's like young. Younger than her. I want to say he's like 19, remember. 20. And, you know, he kind of, you know... he's going to college. Talks to her. And, you know, takes her in and, and they end up getting married. So 1930s and now the Great Depression is here and life in Texas is not so great. When she moved to the Martinelli's um, ranch, it was doing great in the 20s. When she married Rafe, it was doing well, great. And, it was you know, plentiful. So, you know, when she meets Rafe. When he's 19. I think he's 19. He's very he's young. young. She's like 26. Than her. Yeah. They they didn't really have like, it's it's just kind of like a hookup, right? Well, I think she was hoping it was going to be more because that's what she's always kind of wanted, especially like in her, you know, books that she loves to read. And, you know, she's told she's not beautiful. And she, she goes out, she sneaks out and, you know, she meets this like dashing young man. Do you hear footsteps? I know. Sorry. It's my daughter. She meets this dashing young man who actually so, shows some interest in her. And, you know, like, she was hoping it was going to be more. It wasn't, like, for him. I think it was, like, you know, hey, let's try this out. Yeah, he was, like, first time. Yeah, okay. And um, they end up meeting again one day and, you know, kind of goes that way again. And um, I think she was hoping, though, it would be a little more... Like someone's showing her interest, and I don't think it was like that for necessarily. Him. It wasn't like that. It for was him. like that was the whole point. You know, yes. that's a big point in the story. Mm -hmm. Is it's that's not for him. He was nice it was to her. Not, I don't think. Yeah, he, he I mean about her, but it wasn't like. And she he, ends up getting pregnant, basically, him. and he's actually and, engaged. Yes, and he's going. He's on his way to college, and she gets pregnant. You know, and things kind of turn south from there. And her parents are living. Yeah. They kick her out. They take her straight over to the Martinelli's. Um, Which is Rafe's ranch, family. Rafe's family. They're, in, I believe, Italian. Yeah, mm -hmm. Martin, Rafe Martinelli. And um, they're shocked. But the people they are, they're like, you're going to take care of your responsibilities. This is a big turnaround. It's a 360 for them. And now we have to... Go through the life of Elsa um, having a baby with this guy who 
there's it's not necessarily love. Yeah, I think it's a caring. Yeah. He may love her, but he's probably he's not in love with her. Not at, when he's you know. 18, 19, getting to go to college. It was just a fun little time for him. And basically, it's this is the start of the book. And it, I mean, the start was great, honestly. And um, so she gets thrown into this life and she has to like kind of prove herself. And she's going to this ranch that's doing very well. Um, and she's willing to roll up her sleeves and get down and dirty and work very hard, especially for the family. I think she's very thankful that you know she had someone i mean she's learning to cook her mother her own mother never taught her any of this yeah stuff. a little more and you know she's learning to be a good mother and she, you know she doesn't want to be the mother that she had that's like up. her biggest thing and you know going through this and then to top it off the depression hits 10 years it's almost about 10 years later we get into the 1930s and the great depression comes and all of a sudden, things aren't so easy. And this is really where the story really gets not going. Easy. This is where the story really picks up. And um, that's, I would say, the gist of this book is now catching us up to the Great Depression and how, um, you know, life in Texas that was so great before, who even her father did so well with, you know, everything. The Martinellis did really well. Now things are just not good. It's the dust really bowl era. Hit the, them. You know, everything. No rain, nothing. No crops are being produced. I mean, these people are going and basically they might have had fancy things before and now they're struggling to survive. And they think moving west to California is going to give them what they want. Yeah. Well, she has and like a decision to make because she's never wanted to leave. She does not. Yeah. This is a place that she has now called her home. And. And she doesn't want She's to She's going to stick it out. But there's dreams of California being the end all. And, and her husband is one of those that has those dreams. So it's kind of like this push and pull. Yeah. And you kind of go through the ups and downs of this family and the disagreements they have. And, you know. Um, and moving on and powering through. And yeah. And it's just a, it's a very much of, it's like a lot of self growth on almost everyone's character you see from the grandma and grandpa to the children to the mother it's just so much it's beautifully written it takes you through something that really happened it's a history I mean it's a fictional story but I'm sure there's little bits and pieces from here and there you've heard and made it into a story and it's just a well and I read I read because I always say I like to go on and read the reviews and you know, a lot of it was very, very similar to what really happened. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm the saying. Great There's Depression truth. was yeah. was a terrible, terrible. I mean, our grandma plague. Grew up it's in basically it was always, a plague, and she's always telling us when and yeah. you have to wait in food lines and with holes in your shoes to get bread. Yeah, and milk. you know, like so. It's a very it, but you know what? It's a very empowering story too, and I really. It comes full circle in many ways. It's just, it's a great, I I really would like to get more into it, but it's a non-spoiler because there's so much I would love to like say on it. But it, oh gosh, it's a great, great book. I give this a five. It is totally worth the read. I loved it. Beautifully written. It's again. emotional. I think I've said that like yeah. 10 times. Um, yeah, emotional. It really it comes back book. around and, um, you know, the love and Your the Your heartstrings are definitely yeah. pulled on this book and I don't know you know what if, if the other one what's the other one is it Nightingale I don't know I've heard of the other Nightingale. ones that are like super good too that I think we should pick up soon but anyways I love this book what do and you guys I think I think you should love it too yes <laughs> if you guys have read it what did you think um if you haven't pick it up we highly recommend yes. it I think you'll fall in love with this, the characters just like we did it just you know it really sucks you in from the beginning you find that someone who doesn't think highly of themselves, and you th see someone who's never thought they were loved, and to come and find out that you're loved more than you know, it, it was just a really touching story, yeah. and that you really do mean a lot to people, like even people that don't think they do. It just really shows you that. You might not mean every, what's that one song um, by Brad Paisley, you know, to the world, you may just be a, um, 
an everyday or what's this what's a good everyday girl but uh to uh, but to me you are the world and it just shows you that there are people that think you are more than mm -hmm. you are and anyways a great book i highly recommend it we always say that too we highly <laughs> recommend it but we do. We do. five stars great book go read it if you haven't let us know what you think read it Anyways, I believe that's it for this one. Anything else you'd like to nope. add, Sarah? Nope. Anyways, guys, we would love for you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.